Hey guys, this is Nesto. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today I'm going to bring you guys a photo shoot that I did as a second shooter on a wedding in uh, 2016. So since my surgery, I haven't been out and shooting. So I figured I might as well just dig through the archive and pull something out. And I'll walk you guys through my thought process in capturing these images. Now, as the second shooter on this uh, wedding, my job was to capture the groom and his uh, wedding party. And the main shooter, he was working with the bride. So I didn't know the groom, I didn't know the wedding party, I didn't know anything about them, with the exception of the fact that, you know, I know what their name was, that was about it. So walking into a situation like this, my first thought process is obviously to try to get to know the groom, um, introduce myself, let him know who I am, what I'm there for, etc. Um, in addition to that, what I try to do is basically just capture some random shots. These shots really will not go anywhere. Um, the groom or the bride is not going to want to use them for anything at all. Uh, but these shots really help me to just listen in on the room on you know what they are saying uh, getting, a, getting a good idea of what their personality is and stuff like that so although these are shots that no one will use it gets me to the point where I could get to understand them a little bit better so this was him just uh, writing a letter to his bride-to-be him getting his haircut here are some more images of him getting this haircut. So these are just random images. So after that, I basically try to capture some detail shots. So that's just how I start out, capturing some detail shots on the groom. And for this one, I just had a simple um, lighting setup, which was using a window light. So that was about it, using the window light camera, right? Um, and I just had the bride hold his his shirt so he could show the detail of his cufflinks. And that was about it. And what I try to do with these setups is just get as much as I can from one simple pose. You don't want to basically get in a frame and then say, okay, give me another pose, get, uh, get that frame and then do another pose and so on and so forth. They probably get tired of you by that time. So what I try to do is set them up and just get some various comp uh, compositions with that one pose and also try to get some different expressions with that one pose. So here we go. So this one pose or this one, um, this one detail, right? So I got this shot. I got a little bit of a wider shot and then I got this shot. So I could potentially use any one of these shots and put them into a wedding album, okay? So that's how you have to basically be thinking about this stuff when you're creating these images. What can go well with a wedding album? Or rather, more specifically, in a wedding album. Okay. Now, this one, we just broke off a little bit from what we were just doing because um, there was some delivery of some gifts, not only for uh, the groom, but also for uh, his wedding party, which you, he will give out you know, in a little bit. And I did capture something like that. So for this, I didn't set up anything. This was just a random shot of him just, you know, giving his best man a hug. And that was about it. All right. So here we are back to action, utilizing the window light again. So again, just having the best man act like he's, you know, actually putting on his bow tie and stuff like that and just cracking up, laughing, so on and so forth, just having them talk crap to each other to spark that laughter. And here's a little bit more of that same thing. A little bit more of the same thing here. Now he received or they, they had a theme of uh, superhero socks. So the groom was putting on his socks and the wedding parties were putting on um, their socks as well. So I just capture a quick uh, shot of this. This wasn't set up. This was just a random shot that I captured while he was doing that. All right. So again, this is not a setup shot. This is just him providing the gifts to his um, groomsmen and the gifts that he's receiving from his bride to be. 
All right, here we are back to action, back to that window light. And this is the best man putting on one of the gifts that he received from his bride-to-be. And this is him just putting on his watch, utilizing again that same window light. Now the difference between this shot and this shot, I, I just thought that this one was a little bit uh, static, meaning there wasn't much expression from it. So I just had them started laughing with each other, interacting with each other so you could get that expression that I was looking for. Now, this one here is more of a little bit more uh, serious, more, uh, you know, dramatic type of lighting, utilizing again the same window lighting. This lighting is more split lighting. You have the light coming on this side of his face and then on this side of the face is in shadow. So for a man, this type of lighting is really, really good. For a woman, not so great. Um, the other thing that was important with this shot is to get this um, little bit of a gap here and the gap was... Uh, pronounced by the light uh, separating the arm just a little bit. Okay. Now, again, same thing like I was mentioning before, taking advantage of one pose, getting multiple uh, shots from that one pose and multiple expressions as po if possible. That's the key. So again, you stand up here by the window. This is my composition right now. He's not looking at the camera. This one, he's looking at the camera. I changed my composition a little bit to incorporate the curtains into the shot. This one, a little bit of a wider shot, still looking at the camera. And this one here is a different composition with his chest a little bit more towards the camera and him looking at the camera. All right, so now he's sitting now, again, taking advantage of the one pose that he's in. Just getting different composition of the one pose, okay? So he's sitting now, looking towards the window light. Still looking towards the window light. I just changed my composition a little bit. This is uh, the groom now looking towards the camera. And this is me just backing up a little bit, getting a little bit of a reflection on a table that was in the hotel room. Again, as you notice, the groom have not moved. He's just sitting there. Same thing. The groom is still sitting there. He hasn't moved. I'm just changing my composition. Just getting different angles. Okay. Now this is another angle. Now the only thing I wish I did here was have the groom look out the window as opposed to the camera. I thought, you know, looking out the window probably would have been a little bit of a, little bit of a stronger shot. But nonetheless, this is still a good shot. And then we went outside, they had a, um, a balcony outside. So we just went outside to get um, a couple of shots outside. Nothing really, um, you know, award winning, award winning about these shots, but just thought we'd get some shots outside. Now, this is another shot that I generally get um, with brides, with grooms, same thing. Just get in the shots with the groom and his wedding party individually, right? Just get some shots of them and, and you know, they will put these in their wedding album um, for sure, because these are the people that they, you know, these are their close friends and family and stuff like that. So they will put these in there in their wedding album. All right. So I didn't, I'm not going to show every single one of those shots because oh, this is a lot of them. So. I just wanted to show you a handful so you guys get an idea of how I put this stuff together, okay? All right, so this is another one where um, now I have the bri uh, bride, I have the groom now sitting down on the bed, looking towards his um, wedding party and just laughing, having a good time. Now, as I said before, taking advantage of the same setup. So all he's doing is sitting on the bed. He hasn't moved. The only thing I did is back up my position and incorporated the, the wedding party. Now, they had some cigars and stuff like that. So I told them, you know, take out your cigars. Let's incorporate the cigars into the shot. Now, the one thing that I wish I did is had them light the cigars. Because if they had lit the cigars, it would have looked um, a lot better. So I posed all of them uh, the way they are. And then I told the groom to look towards the camera. And then I told the wedding party not to look at the camera. Just look at each other, talk with each other, talk crap, laugh, stuff like that, okay? 
So this was the setup. This shot will look great in like a black and white or something like that. I thought this was a cool shot. Same thing, I just changed my composition up a little bit. Um, then we had now the groom laughing. Now, this one, I didn't set this up. I, I don't remember what is it that they were doing here. Uh, I don't know if this was a sorority thing or what, but whatever. Um, so I just thought it was cool and I captured it. And I actually put this in black and white, I guess, um, and capture one here. So I guess that's what I had envisioned anyway. So I put it in black and white. Then this one here was just a group shot of the wedding party. Now, this one here, I pose all the guys. Um, I, exactly how you see them here is exactly how I pose them. Uh, and then the groom was there in the center. Now, I did also bring the groom out just a little bit um, from the wedding party, but again, the wedding party is pretty much the same. Then I had the wedding party start cracking up laughing and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Again, just laughing. Check out this dude here. He's cracking up. He's getting, getting a life. Yeah, whatever joke it was, he was, he was certainly uh, cracking up about it. All right. So these were those uh, theme superhero socks that I was talking about. So this was the, in the same room. I just brought them over closer to this area so we could get a shot of those uh, socks. All right. Now. Like I said, I, um, well, I don't know if I said it, but I, I was using two different cameras. So the shots are a little bit out of order. So this shot here is from before when we were doing the getting ready in the room, in the hotel room. Um, so again, this one here, I just asked him to sit on the bed, bring up his uh, knee a little bit so he can rest his arm here on his knee and him looking straight towards the camera. Now the window is on camera left, so that was the source of light. And again, same position. He hasn't moved from here. I'm just now using this background here, well, which is the headrest as my background. And this is just him looking towards the window, cracking up laughing. Again, this is him just sitting down on a piece of, uh, piece of, on a, um, chair and just showing one of the gifts that he received from his um, bride, I believe, or bride-to-be. Again, sitting down in that same location, looking off um, and towards the distance. This is him turning his face away from that main light. So like the window light is on the left-hand side here. All right, so now we're leaving, right? We left the room, we're going towards the ceremony and we're just waiting at the elevator and I just, there was this nice window light to the right here. And then we had this nice uh, structure in the background. So I just said, you know, stand up right there. Let me just capture a shot. And I just told him to just put his hands um, on the table like this, looking off to the, the camera right. And I just captured it because that's where the light source was coming from. So that's why I told him to look towards the camera, right? Then this one, and the composition on this wasn't that great, so I think I adjusted it. Let me see, yes. So I adjusted my composition now to incorporate these two things into it um, nicely. So the difference between that one and that one, okay? All right, so this one here, I didn't like this composition. I, I knew what I was trying to go for, but I didn't like the composition because this thing here was cut in through him. So I think I did another shot. Yep, this is not a shot and I already put this in black and white. So, um, so yeah, I like this frame better because now he's in this part of the image as opposed to this thing rolling through his head. So I kind of like this better. The only thing that I wish I did was uh, put a little bit of a gap between his arm here, which I did not do. So that's my only regret on this particular shot. This one here, they're still waiting at the elevator. I didn't set this up at all. This was just those guys just chatting, talking with each other, waiting at, waiting at the elevator. Again, some more shots at the elevator. And this was one of the shots, again, still waiting at the elevator, using flash for this one. Uh, we are in the hallway of the hotel 
and I just said, you know, stand up there. Let me just get, get a quick shot. One of the groomsmen was holding uh, my flash. I think I was using young Newell flash back then. So this was just a quick setup here. And this was me just changing my composition. Again, taking advantage of that same pose. Um, again, a little bit out of water. Again, because I was using two different cameras. So this is in the room, kind of like that Godfather feel. The only guy that messed it up is this guy here. He was uh, he was smiling. All the other ones was very serious and with the groom looking straight towards the camera. So I kind of like this and I already put it in black and white because that's kind of what I was going for. I did use a flash in this. So the flash was camera right to focus. I'm sorry, not camera right, camera left uh, to focus here on our main subject. Okay. And this one here, we finally got downstairs from using the elevator. And, you know, I just said, you know, let's uh, pose you guys just walking out. And this was them walking out of the, um, the hotel, going towards the, well, actually they had the ceremony in the hotel, but I just wanted to fake like the actual walking out of the hotel. And this was just um, waiting outside of the ceremony of me just capturing uh, the groom and his parents and stuff like that. But that's not the focus of this video. This video was both focused on the getting ready. So that was it. That was all um, some general shots, not all the shots, but some general shots that I capture uh, for getting ready for a male session. So. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give it, well, go ahead and subscribe if you like. You don't have to, but you could subscribe if you like. And just hit that bell button to get notifications about any new videos being posted. All right, talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.